Now then, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Welcome to day two of my hiking and tarn bagging adventure in Great Langdale in the Lake District. It always amazes me how the weariness of a previous day's hike always seems but a distant memory when a new day dawns and a fresh walk beckons. Today we're heading up to Stickle Pike, looking forward to a few stops along the way where there be waterfalls. Another day, another time. Our Great Langdale adventure continues with a walk from the old Dungeon Gill pub along part of the Cumbrian Way to the new Dungeon Gill Hotel and then up Stickle Gill to Stickle Tarn. It's a little early for a pint, tempting as it is, and we have a long way to go conditions are good. The waymarked footpath is easy to follow and the views just get better the higher you go. This is why I enjoy what I do. I love a good waterfall me and these falls are roughly halfway along our route which makes them a good stopping off point to linger and catch our breath before the final push to the top. For me, these are the views that make Langdale so special. The receding fells are just begging to be painted. A sumptuous landscape punctuated by rocks and crags. It doesn't come much better than this. I may be flagging a bit, but the end is in sight. Just a few more twists and turns should do it. Stickle Tarn is just over the next brow. It's always nice to catch a wild location like this on a good day when the sky is blue and there are but a handful of clouds. The large hill to the left is Harrison Stickle while the imposing rock wall facing us is known as Pavey Arc. 2,300 feet at its highest point, Pavey Arc is the largest cliff in the Langdales. It features many large gullies and chimneys and is popular with rock climbers with many different ascents, such descriptive names as Great Gully, Gwyn's Chimney, Cruel Sister sounds like a tough one or what about Impact Day, definitely a challenge. Well, for the non-climbers, there is a Grade 1 scramble known as Jake's Rake that follows a natural groove in the precipice. 
maybe another day. My wet in wet sky, consisting entirely of Prussian blue, has set the mood. A light grey mixed from French ultramarine and burnt umber established the main areas of rock, followed by a light green mixed from cadmium yellow and Prussian blue. Well, I'm mostly working wet on dry, but occasionally softening things off with a damp brush enables me to keep things blended into the surrounding wash and hopefully maintaining some degree of realism. In watercolour, we work from light to dark, while an additional slightly richer layer of the grey helps to build up the contours of the rock face, so various mixes of blue-grey and a warm burnt umber enable me to explain the three-dimensional properties of the grassy slope in the foreground. I could spend many hours up here, gazing in awe at the spectacle of the crags and enjoying the peace and quiet of the tarn. But it's a long way back down to the valley, the pub will be open, and a well-earned refreshing pint or two beckons. It's time to go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. This was the second in a trilogy of tarns, and I'm pleased to say that the next one, Angle Tarn, will be along very soon, so do watch this space. I should, of course, mention that if you're interested in viewing the full, uncut, non-time-lapsed version of the painting demonstration featured in this video, along with a step-by-step -step guide to painting it yourself, then I'm happy to say that this and hundreds of other similar projects are available to all subscribers of my online tuition service. Well, full details of how to subscribe to that can be found in the description below. Until next time, take care. <laughs>